Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. So the series is almost over. We've gotten all 19 mandatory upgrades at around the 1425kc mark, which is what we are looking for. And all that's left is really the 70 or so rates and the best PBs that I can get to reach the 1500 solo rates 1kc goal. Now before I finish it though, I have been trying to work on a hidden 20th upgrade. Yes. There are some things that there was a chance I was going to get along the way of the grind, such as things from the Theater of Blood, that ended up being quite pivotal and interesting for the series, you know, used it a lot. But yeah, the Sang Staff is the 20th item that I've been grinding for a very long time. I, I thought that we were going to get it relatively on time, on drop rate, you know, which is about, give or take, 300 TOBs or so in a 4-man. But unfortunately... I pushed the envelope a little too hard and now I'm at like a thousand TOB so yeah we're definitely three times over the rate now <laughs> and yeah still no sang in sight I've seen probably somewhere between five to ten sangs but at this point there is no giving up so what KC do you guys think it'll take me to get the sang stuff at this point oh nice dude we I can't believe I actually got a PB wow cool I was hoping one of the homies would get close Damn, Olive, rip Olive, dude. That's what he's looking for. <laughs> Rape here? Oh shit, Olive got that? Damn, that's crazy, dude. I didn't think he was gonna get one today. Looks like today could be the day, you know? He could be done right now. <laughs> Psych, you're stuck here with me forever, baby, because not until I get my saying stab. Okay. Damn, boys. Nah, 950 ain't it. Just 50 rates away, wow. And then we hit the quadruple digits. Nothing, bro. Oh shit, bro, you actually called a pet. Yo, Mr. Payne's Wrath, dude. Fellow YouTuber. With his uh, drunken powers, he literally predicted a pet this rate. Alright, 975, and someone got a purple. What could it be? Alright, here we go. Nice. Face guard, chest guard, I mean, for TRG. 982, there is another purple right in the middle. Alright, man, what is this? What is this? Another justiciar, but this time it's the face guard. Okay. Decent split. This is KC990, just 10 away. 10 away to 1,000, man. Can I get the saying staff? B4, 10 to go. Alright guys, we're at number 994 to see another purple. And Gozu gets, ooh, Gorazi Rapier. That's actually pretty sick split right there. It's over 100 mil, I think, still. Alright guys, this is the big 1,000 TOB KC. And I said I was going to stop here, but <laughs> I was hoping I'd get it before. But now that we're here, we ain't stopping. We're going. We are going. Oh, never lucky. Okay, I can already tell there's no drop. On to the next TOB and the next one. So, I did not manage to track all 1000 KC just because it gets really hard, especially with stuff like leagues before, which like basically messed up the overall logs. But I did get 500, so whatever you see here in terms of resources, you can basically just double the number for 1000. The uniques, obviously, they're a bit different. But yeah, uh, most noble stuff is like Runor, 3,000 of those, so it's probably like 6k. Um, Deference probably like 50k. Uh, Zemi Wine's probably like 6k, lots of herbs, double that. But you get the idea, just a lot of resources. Yo, what the frick? Yo, I just got 9 magic seeds, that's 3 magic seed drops in one chest, what the heck? That's actually super cool to see. Consider subscribing to the channel so that way you don't miss on future videos from the series and other awesome series coming up. Oh yo, what the frick? Okay, I got distracted. Had to use the restroom, but looks like somebody got Infernic Defender. 
<laughs> That's cool. I didn't know I could see drops when I'm not in the actual room. Good luck, good luck. What are you getting? Just this your face card. Nice. Probably one of the more better drops. Like fetch. Oh, purple, purple. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. First purple in a, in a while, dude. I don't even know when's the last time I got a purple, but... Yo, put on your redemption, boys. Put on your redemption. Everybody, get your redemptions on. This this is gonna this is gonna be the one, bro. Come on. 1033. Here we go. Oh, it's a rape here. I mean you guys are gonna make money, but it's not a sanction after. Mm, God damn, bro. No man. That was someone got a purple. What the f who is it? Again? <laughs> back to back purple for this guy over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, get it. Go get it. Go get it. What's the drop? <laughs> Yo, what is it gonna be? Oh, okay. Yeah, I already got that. Wait, someone got a purple. Man, that's not mine though, but. Yo, let's go. Purple, finally, after 10 hours of tobbing in a freaking row, we finally see a purple. There we go, guys. What is it? No. Yo, a freaking sang staff. No. Damn, bro. All right. Damn. I hadn't seen one in a while, but shit. I was really hoping it'd be mine. Damn, boys. Oh, hey, with some money, bro. You know, bombing. Man, all right. At least it's all purple, though. So. Oh, purple! Let's go. Purple in my freaking name, dude. Ah, let's get it, dude. 10, 11 hours of top today. Oof! You can roast me in the chat for a goddamn not sleeping, dude. But let's go. Let's get it. Yes. Please. Sang staff, come on. No! Why, dude? Ah, oh, dude. God damn it, man. Ah, disappointing. Is that good? No, it's not. It's not good, bro. This isn't good. Ah, uh, CBA, bro. I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling a little, little bit of the struggles, man, but. We signed up for this shit, so we gotta, you know, we gotta finish what we started, bro. I ain't no quitter. Just stubborn, really, but ain't no quitter. Oh, what the frick? You got the pets? No way, bro. So now that we're going super deep for this same grind, I am going to try to mix up the Theater of Blood so that it's not as boring. So I've been mostly doing three to four minutes because it's really nice and um, consistent, right? I can invite just about anybody and probably get the run completed. Duels are another story. Duels, you really need somebody that can just be super expensive and also be really synergized with you. Like you guys have to be thinking in the same way pretty much because if you don't, which you'll see uh, shortly in this video, that it's really hard to do this consistently because all it takes is one guy to die in one room in about half the rooms, if some guy dies early, it's pretty much a GG. Imagine your teammate dies at like Zarpus early on. So yeah, duels are a lot more punishing and definitely a lot harder. Nice! Our first run with the boy here was very scuffed, but I guess figured, you know? I haven't done it in a while and our synergy is pretty, pretty bad. But did we die? I guess nobody died. In, the, in our first one. So, okay. So let me explain some of the nuances of dual TOB because it is actually quite different from your average three to four man TOBs. Right off the bat, dual TOB, I'd say it's probably like 50% harder than trios. Maybe a little less once you really get into the groove. But it's super teamwork reliant. So that means you and your partner have to basically formulate a plan that both of you guys are gonna follow through and through all right if your partner decides to do something a little different that deviates from the plan it can be disastrous because a lot of rooms if your partner dies 
it's going to be incredibly difficult to recover and actually continue the raid. So some of the rooms that get extremely harder is definitely Nalakus room, followed by probably Zarpis and I'd say Verzig's a bit harder, but actually surprisingly not not that much harder. But Darby's definitely gets a bit harder. Uh, Maiden definitely gets a bit harder. Bloat about the same, but yeah, Nalakus I'd say and Zarpis are the two definitely most notable challenges at least for me and my partner even though we've both done duels before we just never done it together and we had different uh, mindsets with how we did certain rooms so there was a lot of issues you know trying to consistently clear Nalakis and Zarpis until we basically found a strategy that we could all work with together so there are definitely many strategies that you can use to clear the same rooms but obviously, the main point is finding a strategy that you guys are both going to stick with. So for example, Nihilakiss, I am the range role primary and I kill the melee guys as secondary, right? And the biggest issue with Nihilakiss in a duel is being able to clear the big masses of melee crabs and blue crabs that show up later on in the wave. And how we deal with it is really important. For example, my goal is to kill the big melee guys as soon as possible and help clear the big majors soon after. And my partner, which is primarily the major, has to also help me clear the majors. But as soon as that's done, he needs to keep freezing the pillars. He cannot be doing anything else because I'm gonna be taking care of the rest of the aggros in the middle. And that's very important. So Zarpis is another interesting one in a duel. There's many ways to do it. Again, you can do it nice and slow, or you can do it fast and more, I guess, skillful, but way more dangerous, which is what I'm trying to learn with my partner. But as you can see, I'm showing you some clips of when we were trying to learn it together. But yeah, essentially you go in and out every uh, four ticks, kind of like first like P2, but you got to do it synchronized. So yeah, it's pretty tricky, but once you get enough practice in, you know, it definitely is worth it. It's a lot faster than just say blow piping or whatever. So, ah, this raid was just, oh damn. Yeah. First uh, purple in our in our DLB DLB uh, dual TLB group. Of course, it ain't mine because uh, I play like Dookie this raid. So, ah, defender. Okay, good thing it wasn't a saying, you know. It's pretty good about half. Oh, okay, I got you. Yes. Oh my God, good save. Dang, good thing I I uh, came back on time. I don't even care if it pops because I, I did enough damage, so. Oh, hey, okay. Hey. Nice, bro. Perfect calculated death. We didn't even have to share the ball. Feels good, man. Dying at the blow boss is probably the worst boss to die to at Theater of Blood in terms of decreasing your chance of completing it because you typically lose the most points for your supplies at the chest when you die with it. But it's weird sometimes because sometimes it'll be as bad as me only getting six points by the end of it or sometimes i just get like max points but most of the time it tends to lower your points pretty badly by like at least three points so if you're having trouble with theater of blood in terms of completing it definitely try not to die below because you lose so many points usually you're such a troll bro fight <laughs> What was that? <laughs> oh my god, that was actually hilarious, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Watch this move here. Get a free hit, get a free heal, just because we're gonna skip this phase for sure. So, free heal, might as well. Too much of a cheap scheme. What the hell? 75. Holy shit. That's crazy. Nice. I haven't seen a big, big fat booty bump in a while. 75, baby. I guess a good TOB tip for something like Nylos is knowing the XP drops of one shots. In uh, 4 man, for example, it's 101 with uh, range and 48 on the small rangers. So if I see a 40 at 101, I, I know I one-shotted them. And I can just move on to like the next thing. Well, it also depends on whether or not you grouped your XP. 
So just remember what your number is. Helps a lot. Saves time. All right, I'm going to just use the crabs as an indicator. All right, she's on our last hit because uh, I saw the crab explode. So so when the crab explodes naturally on its own, that means the boss will be on its last attack and it will switch to the next special, which is webs. Damn, guys, ever since I exclusively just been grinding TOB every day for like six hours, seven hours, I am using blow runes like twice as fast right now. Um, at this rate, I'm not going to be able to upkeep the runes just rune crafting. I'm going to have to start buying unless I get the Sang soon. So one of my viewers was wanting to know how many blood runes I use per TOB, mainly just the scythe. And I just uh, counted how many I had at the start of this raid and at the end of the raid. To find a difference, it was around 200 charges, which is about 600 blood runes. And this was a standard three man, I'd say. So in a four man, it's probably like 500 blood runes. But yeah, it's a lot. It's probably at least a thousand plus blood runes an hour. Mm. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, I can time this. Yes, that perfect three-way stack. Oh, we should stall it because the ball's almost there. Oh, perfect. Skip. Ah, good stall, bro. Easy. Oh, damn, that was sick, bro. Scythe KO. That was actually so cool. Oh, what? Oh, nice, dude. That was very, very nicely timed Halley. Halley extension there. Oh, yeah, throw each bow. Yo, Mr. Ultimate Iron Man learning top with a third age bow. That's so cool, dude. Oh, yeah, all this money from Hydra. Easy. I thought I was done with Bruce, but I realized. Since I'm doing TOB a lot, uh, I'm probably going to use a, a bit more bruise than what I initially thought was good. Yo, this is actually crazy. I got 18 Litwer seats from that contract. I need to plant a lot of these because uh, I need to make more super combats for top. Top just sucks your combat pots dry. In between each top, I just run to the Zaya spot to plant one Litwer because it's guaranteed that it'll grow. And yes, yeah, perfect in between. Another way to keep yourself sane while grinding endless hours of Tob is when a fallen star hits the bank at Tob. Tob sucked me my blood rune so dry that I'm already 96 rune crafting. God damn. Yo, I come here for a quick decant, and somebody is dropping a ton of stuff, man. Too bad I'm an Iron Man, so I can't pick up anything. Ah, uh, finally made all my super combats again, all my prayer pots again. Alrighty, we are all set again.